If you're a longtime listener to our podcast, hello, things might look a little bit different. If you're brand new, welcome. But don't be scared. Your sisters are right alongside you as we debut the new look and feel here on the weekly podcast that is now titled Infinite Energy with Kay and Shy. Stay tuned to find out what all of this means and the good things coming. Hi, we're sisters Kay and Shy, and we're the hosts of the Infinite Energy Podcast. We believe that everyone has the power to live a more energized, optimistic, and fulfilling life. In every episode, we share tips and techniques for harnessing your own power and creating the life you deserve. Get ready to ignite and discover the limitless power of Infinite Infinite Energy. Energy. Well, welcome. We are so glad that you are here for episode one of the long running K and Shy podcast that changes a little bit as it goes each season. And this season, we are very excited to debut its new name, Infinite Energy with Kay and Shai. Infinite Energy has deep meaning for the two of us. And if you're brand new here to our podcast, hello, <laughs> welcome. My name is Kay Salerno, and this is my sister, Shyla Morris, and we are real life sisters. We also real life love you, and we're real life in your corner as you seek to fulfill your dreams. Now, back in 2015, Kay and I got to start speaking together on stage a little bit. Hopefully, you know a little bit about about a little bit about our background, but just in case you don't. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to go into it that fast. But what we will tell you is that for the last 20 years, we've grown up, grown in, and grown out a family breakfast restaurant business in the West Coast. We've learned a lot of lessons along the way. Now, we're co-chairs and co-owners of that restaurant business with 200 employees. And we have a CEO in place who is now the operator. So we're not owners and operators. We're just owners and uh, co-chairs of the board. And that's been an amazing shift for us that allows us to move more into our passion of speaking and presenting together, which back in 2015, we started to do and people started saying, wow, it's like magic what you do up there. Oh, you two just have an energy about you. And coupled with the level of experience brought forward by eight figure entrepreneurs in multiple industries and multiple businesses, we just we have a knack for creating energy in ourselves, for helping other people create energy in themselves. And uh, it's often even been described to us as something that you may be familiar with at this point, infinite energy. Right. That's what we've realized is sort of what people would say. Wow, your energy and the way you flow and the way it goes back and forth. And so there we are in 2015 (laughs) laying in our hotel room in Orlando. And we are talking about just the we're electrified by getting to present together. And the feedback that we got was obviously pretty good. And we're saying, gosh, everyone is saying that just the flow and the between us and we feel it, too. And when I start to feel down, you feel up. And when you feel down, I feel up and we're able to feed each other and support each other. It's kind of like this infinity loop, but it's like infinite energy. And we were like, oh, that is what it is. So here you are on the podcast titled Infinite Energy. Now you know where that came from. But what's funny is that we've been using infinite energy as the name of our LLC that is sort of the management company that owns all of our different interests and things for more than five years now. We have. And infinite energy is such a dear term to us. But once we really started to explore what infinite energy can do for other people, uh, we really decided that this is an incredible opportunity for us to explore with you, our listeners and our watchers, uh, the idea of how we can create infinite energy within our lives. Now, Shyla and I are lucky enough to have stumbled upon this concept with each other and the power of partnerships. But here's what we've discovered along the way. As we have started to feed with particular methods, different areas of our life that we want to improve we see the return and the feeding begin to happen. And we realize that while infinite energy came naturally between us as sisters, infinite energy was really something that could be harnessed and engaged in in any area of your life in order for you to get what you want and create that optimistic, energizing and fulfilling life that you deserve. 
kind of I'm, I'm imagining right now kind of that perpetual motion machine that everyone is, you know, cont- humanity continues to quest for. And that's not necessarily what we're talking about. We're not talking about the kind of energy that most energy podcasts are talking about. So if you're here to talk about fossil fuels <laughs> or uh, organ- solar uh, energy <laughs> yeah. or the winds. wind, yeah, that, <laughs> this is not that. What we're talking about is that personal power, that energy you feel on the inside when you say I'm high energy or I'm low energy or wow, that person has a lot of energy. Energy. That's the energy that we're addressing here on the Infinite Energy podcast with Kay and Shy, and why we're so glad that you're here. So it's with Kay and Shy, and you heard about our story, but here's the secret. It's not really about us. It's about you, and it's about this topic of infinite energy. And now we're going to share stories of our lives, of our businesses along the way that will hopefully help demonstrate some principles, some lessons, some concepts that will allow you to turn on your infinite energy and turn it up a little bit more. But we're glad that you're here, and we're excited that you're part of the journey. Now, here in the Infinite Energy Podcast, you can expect that we are going to cover topics as they relate to your family and your relationships, as they relate to your fitness, both in your body and in your mind, as it relates to your profession and your career, both your career and your calling, as it relates to that freedom that you want to feel in your life, be that financial freedom, that time freedom, and as it relates to your fe- your faith or your spirituality. So we are here to cover some really cool topics and how you can utilize the power of infinite energy to get the absolute most out of these areas in your life. Oh, and it does work. And energy is everything. You've probably heard that before. You can in quantum physics, right? Anything as we as we look at it, energy is literally everything. It's it's part of everything. It animates everything. Everything is built up of energy and molecules. So, and there is nowhere we can go where energy won't find us. It is an intricate part of our lives, and yet so many of us only really touch the surface on what it is, how we can use it, and and the power that it means for us when we understand it. I think many of us when we can consider energy, we think of it in terms of the intangible. We think of what's powering our lights or what's moving through our power lines. But maybe we're not considering that, like Shyla had said, those next dimensions of energy, that energy really is everything. Now, you may be familiar with Einstein's theory of relativity. It's that famous old equation, E equals MC squared. Now, E in the equation stands for energy. M C squared is mass, matter, times the speed of light times two. So we see this come together. He's saying energy is matter as it's times by that speed of light. So even matter, even the tables, your body, the soul and electricity that animates your very being, it's all energy. So when we learn to harness it infinitely, we answer one of the most Googled questions when it comes to how to, uh, which has been a very interesting social experiment as we have continued on uh, other people's computers saying, you know, the type in your computer, how to get more and see what comes up usually within people's top five to 10 results is how to get more energy. And so the idea that we may be able to source it from within infinitely. Holy cow, it could be game changing. Well, it can't be created or destroyed as and is forever present. So that infinite energy is there, which means if we're not feeling it in our bodies, in our lives, in our finances, in our relationships, in our connection to a higher power, then there's something within us that's blocking that because it's it's available. It can't be destroyed. It can't be created. It's available at all times. Now, raise your hand if you felt low energy before. Raise your hand if you felt blocked before. Raise your hand if you if you felt somebody have bad vibes right when they walked in the door. That person has bad energy, mm-hmm. right? That's what we say. So we already talk about energy a lot when we when we think about our own circumstances and other people. We certainly talk about uh, having big energy about things and and small energy about things and little energy. So this is a word that lots of us use kind of in the pop culture sense. I think for for that feeling of a vibe, but it goes so much deeper than that, and it goes to show and demonstrate that we're all already. A aware of it, whether or not we're accessing its true potential or not. Oh man, we have so much to uncover in this podcast and we're really excited to bring it forward in this dimension with and for you as we talk about the best ways to bring this concept of infinite energy into your life. Because if you raised your hand to any one of those things, then you are in the right place. You're seeking the growth and you're here for a reason. And we are your sisters in that journey and we're excited to be alongside you. So Stay tuned, we've got more to come.
Do you find yourself losing control of your scroll on social media? If you do, then you want to stay tuned to join the Simply Social Club with Kay and I. We've got an awesome challenge for you where you have the opportunity to detox from social media for 48 hours, seven days, 14, or even 31 days right along Shyla and I. So go to kandshy.com slash simply social and find out a little bit more. And hopefully you'll take a pledge alongside us. We'll see you in 2023. See you in the club. One of our proudest business accomplishments is what we've been able to do with Squeeze In Franchising. The Squeeze In is a breakfast lunch restaurant featuring the best omelets on the planet, and it's been around for almost 50 years, and now you can have a Squeeze In in your community. We've seen how this business transformed our families, and now we are so excited to offer this to families around the country to see how this little restaurant might change their family and their community. If you're wondering how to set up your adult children for legacy and success through a small business, then the Squeeze In is an option we urge you to consider. Come find out more about Squeeze In Franchising at squeezein.com. You're enjoying this episode on Angel Phoenix Productions Podcast Network. To explore a complete lineup of quality programs and media production services, head on over to angelphoenix.com or like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Angel Phoenix Productions. Now, in one of our day jobs, Shyla and I have the pleasure of instructing at the University of Nevada, Reno. Her and I co-teach a culture and leadership class, and Shyla teaches sociology. And it is one of our greatest joys getting to teach, which is one of the reasons that here in our spare time, we do a podcast to teach you folks as well. So like any good teachers, we're going to get started with a couple of definitions. So let's, I got to tell you something really before we talk about these definitions. It's so funny. It was at a Christmas dinner through the holidays and about halfway through the dinner, I mentioned something about yada, yada, yada in my class at the university and I'm an instructor. And one of the other ladies would like smack the table and goes, I knew it. I knew you were a teacher. You had the teacher tone of voice. You had the teacher way about you. You could just tell you're a teacher. So yes, that comes from part of our natural bend for sure. And no, it's class is complete without a couple of definitions. So let's start out with the first definition, which is infinite, right? We, uh, when we, we think about that sideways eight, right? When we think about infinite, but let's give a definition here. Limitless or endless in space, extent or size, impossible to measure or calculate. Okay, I am here for that definition of many big, infinite, <laughs> super, very, very large, many big, <laughs> limitless or endless in space. Okay, now let's take a look at the top two definitions that are listed for energy. Uh, but I want to circle on this first one really quick because in relation to the definition of infinite, this is way too cool. So the first definition of energy is the strength and vitality required for sustained physical or mental activity. I mean, Can you imagine having endless or limitless strength and vitality? Like, okay, I'm really here for this infinite energy. The second definition of energy that we're provided is power derived from the utilization of physical or chemical resources, especially to provide light and heat or to work machines. Now, if those words are sliding down the glass of your face, don't worry because Kay actually brought this into a really um, beautiful example that helped me understand it. uh, And I hope that you shall right now, share it right now, Kay. Absolutely. Well, if we think of the, uh, the energy being this power derived from the utilization of the physical thing, let's take this into the relation of fitness, right? We talked earlier about how creating infinite energy inside different areas of your life can be really good for you. So let's talk about creating the infinite energy cycle inside fitness. Now it's power, energy is power derived from that utilization. So as you give your power and utilize your power in the realm of fitness, AKA workout, as you exercise in this realm, you give of this power. And then the energy is what you get back, right? You get power is derived from the utilization of it. So you utilize and you get energy back, right? You put yourself 
into this, this physical exertion space in fitness and you give to it and eventually it gives you back a stronger body, a well-rounded cardiovascular system, a lessened chance of long-term disease, and hopefully more energy levels overall. That first definition of energy, right? That strength and vitality. So there's all kinds. And thank you for that, Kane, because I think it helps us see that nature of the motion, right? And, the, and and it is in motion. That's what energy is all about. Certainly in the way that we're talking about it, that personal power, that feeling of energy inside of us, it's emotion, right? Because it's the thing that activates us to go do a thing, to work out, to get out of bed, to say the thing or not say the thing. It's all tied to energy. So we could talk about energy in the very grand scheme of things of, of, of magnetic energy, energy, of gravitational energy, of electrical energy, of all these different kinds of energy. But we're really going to stay focused on that personal energy, that personal power. And anytime that you're looking at definitions of energy, one, they'll probably slide off the screen of your face like they did (laughs) that first time. But what really stands out to me as I look at all of the different definitions is really the, the phrase ability to do work. So if you want to just boil it down, how are we talking about energy? It's that ability to do work, do work on your finance do work on your time management, do work on your relationships, do work on your body, do work on your spiritual relationship. However, that's going to apply to us personally. That's what we're talking about here. Because you really need energy to watch TV and sit on the couch. Some, but not much. A little, right? Do you need a whole lot of energy to keep scrolling on your phone? Probably not. You know, in fact, you likely are doing either that scrolling or that watching or, or whatever that bad habit is, often saying at the expense of the good habits, well, I just don't have the energy to get up and do that, right? So that ability to do work is so important. So the infinite ability to do work. Now, the key to the infinite ability to do work is the sustainability of that effort. The only way that endless expansiveness comes into play is if it can continue going. So this is not working to burn yourself out. In fact, recently I was listening to a book and the book had me totally captivated. It was a fantastic, it's called Your Five Next Moves by Patrick David Bett. I would highly recommend it. It's a great strategy book, but about halfway through the book, he starts bragging about how he has been put into the hospital multiple times over for the the level of stress that he carries. And then he says, this is a condition. This is a part of being at the level of success that I am at. This is a condition of it, a principle for moving forward in this level. And I personally just cannot vibe with that. I would rather have an infinite energy flow that is endlessly sustainable and that continues to feed me in a positive way. Right. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with others. That's an African proverb and it's lasted the test of time for a reason. And I think infinite energy is allowed to be in motion and do more work when we do it with others, when we share our lives with others, when we contribute to others, to our families, to our communities, to our organizations, to our peers, to our team, to our teammates and to, to our society at large, when we're able to partner with them to to connect with their energy because your energy is doing its own thing inside. And we'll talk a lot about that on this podcast. But that magic, as Kay said, right, that we realized that we when we could link up, that the energy was able to come out and then be able to be fed, supported, flow and support others in that way. And so being able to share the energy to to be surrounded by others, to not put yourself in a hospital for the way uh, that you work and be proud of it. I think that's that's a price worth paying. Yes. And sharing that energy, and I think not only with the people in your lives, right? Because energy is everything. But sharing your energy with your good habits, with your good patterns, with the good things in your life, right? Like if if I flow energy toward drinking more water, I am going to receive being a hydrated human being. <laughs> oh, Shyla got, okay, this is an official water break here on the Infinite Energy Podcast. I feel like this is a new thing. Go get we your water. If you have it nearby, you're drinking the water. Okay. uh, My water's over here. I'm going to go get you. She's going off camera. This is unscripted territory here. And you could absolutely expect more of that on the Infinite Energy podcast with Kay and Shai. And I'm glad that we took the minute to drink the water because water helps conduct electricity and electric energy is one of the main forms of energy inside our body. So glad we took that detour. Keep going. Well, it's solid, right? Because if we take the energy, you take the time, maybe you had that detour with us and you gave yourself the opportunity to hydrate your body. That hydration feeds you, right? You're creating 
create a positive energy loop. Now, in habit science, this is called a positive feedback loop, right? You do something good for your body, you feel better. But I don't, uh, many of us can hear this and, and let it go away from us. But if we maybe think about it as investing this energy in, by the law of reciprocity, it comes back to us. But even actions as simple as choosing veggies in a meal, drinking water, getting 30 minutes of exercise in, talking to yourself positively in the mirror can make a big difference for cultivating and creating lasting energy in your day and in your life. Sign me up. And all of those things, most of those things were free and very simple to implement. So there are lots of basic things that we'll talk about in terms of growing your own infinite energy and your personal power and being able to tap into that more and more, as well as the benefits of it and the different ways that we get blocked by it. Because you're probably thinking like, I get it. I get that the energy matters, but how do I get myself to get off that couch? How do I activate that internal energy? How do I move in that direction and get the motion going so that I can get the energy flowing so that I can get my stuff growing Okay. That was a good little rhyme. Thank goodness we record this podcast. podcast. And you're here to witness it too. (laughs) And we're so glad that you are. So thank you for being with us in this new iteration. We're going to dive a little bit deeper in our next segment. We'll be back at you soon. We're talking leadership this week, and one of the organizations we are so proud to be at the helm of is the Neuroencoding Institute. We got to co-found the Neuroencoding Institute alongside Dr. Joseph McClendon III, amazing, world-renowned neuropsychologist and incredible mentor and teacher. If you're at all interested in learning more about what the Neuroencoding Institute does and what it can do for you, please visit neuroencoding.com. You're enjoying this episode on Angel Phoenix Productions Podcast Network. To explore our complete lineup of quality programs and media production services, head on over to angelphoenix.com or like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash angel phoenix productions. certainly hope that you are having just as much fun as we are here in this first episode of the Infinite Energy Podcast. We love getting to talk about this subject and we're getting fired up about it. Even we had to say, okay, okay, start recording because we're like literally talking about some of these principles here and, and just that moment, right, of, of wanting to do something, of feel, feeling that activation energy as Mel Robbins talks about um, quite a bit and would love to recommend that you follow her and listen to her stuff. But that, that moment of trying to do something is so hard. That's the part where the friction is the most. Now I, I'm not talking, let, I am talking about what happens internally, but think about what happens externally. Cause this is easy for your mind to grab onto it and understand. Have you ever tried to push a piece of heavy furniture on a carpet? I'm sure you have. I'm sure you've had this experience of trying to push a heavy object of some kind and like you're putting all your weight on it and you know if you can just what? If you can just get it started, it will keep going. That is Newton's first law of productivity, the law of motion, which says an object either remains at rest or continues to move at a constant velocity unless acted upon by an external force. Said more simply, an object in motion tends to stay in motion. An object at rest tends to stay at rest. So some kind of external force has to act on an object in order for it to move. Well, we are objects and our external force actually lives inside of us and that can make it a little bit tricky when we're trying to get ourselves to move. What is often miscalculated, I think, especially with the couch analogy that I love, is that that very first burst of energy is bigger than the energy that you then have to sustain, right? Let's take the person laying down on the couch, eating the potato chips, watching the show. And in their mind, they know that it would be better for them to be on their Peloton. I have a Peloton. I love it. This is not sponsored by Peloton, but Peloton, if you want to sponsor us, please do. Anyways, <laughs> they, they know that they should go get on that Peloton. They are eating that potato chip and their mind is screaming at them. Have you ever been in this place where you are far down the path of a bad habit and you know know what you're doing. And your mind says, it's time for you to get on and go do the healthier thing. Now it takes an explosive force of energy inside to get off that couch, to get upstairs or off to your room, to put on your your workout gear and to get onto that bike. But guess what? 
That first push of energy was the hardest one. Once you're there, it's easier to complete the task. The first push on the couch, the couch carpet, <laughs> the cou- couch on the carpet was the hardest one. You just had to get it going. Oh gosh, it's such a good analogy. And I think about that, that like, let's add another layer to this. There's a lot of energy in motion around your bad habit, right? You already have been feeding a lot of energy to whatever this bad habit is, whether it's the potato chips or the dishes or your exercise habit or snapping at your kids. Hi, that's me, right? I have three kids, two 12-year-olds and a nine-year-old. So you can imagine there's some snaptastic moments in our house, but there's a lot of energy going into whatever the bad habit is. And so not only do you need the big burst of energy to get yourself to do any new thing that's not in motion already, you also have to cut off the energy that has been feeding and in motion a long time, the other habit. And this is a difficult task. It, honestly, it's the quest most of us are on for our entire lives is figuring out how to cut off the energy to the bad habit feed the energy to the good habit and progress our lives in a way that is meaningful and fulfilling to us. Now, unlike the couch on the carpet, our progress and our energy does not move in a perfectly linear fashion. In fact, our energy moves in some pretty wild ways. But as the name of this podcast suggests, we're here to talk about infinite energy. So when we're considering that infinity loop, right, this is very much like the law of attraction. If you've ever studied this, right, what you put out will then loop back to you. You then process it and put something out into the universe and something loops back into you. And and therefore you are engaging in this infinite energy loop, whether you know you are or not. So if you feed the potato chip habit or you feed the, uh, the entitled 12 year old habit or whatever it is, when we feed that that's what's going to come back and then it manifests inside of us and we have to feed it. We have to transmit it back into the world. So that might have gotten a little bit esoteric there. Uh, but this idea of infinite energy, that what we feed that's negative feeds us back in a negative way. But what we feed that's positive can feed us back in a positive way, which then means that we have more of the push energy the next time we go back out to make a move, right? Because the energy that's infinite comes in and then pushes back out again every time, just like the tides, it comes in and it comes out. So when we do those healthy things, we give our loop more momentum to create a larger loop and a more powerful loop for the good things in our life that we want. Gosh, that is so beautiful. And just that, that visual of what you put out comes back, right? And and Kay, you were, you were talking about the example of like, I might even have the initial activation energy to get off that couch and go do the thing. But then I say, oh, I'm too tired or I can't, or I'm too lazy. Well, what happens is that even though it's a little loop, it loops back on you. I can't, I can't, I'm lazy, I'm tired. And now we're building energy towards that and we're depositing energy coins in the motion of this habit, of this identity, of this energy space inside of you because energy cannot be created or destroyed. So it's already everywhere. What's beautiful and amazing about human beings is that you're gifted with an intellect and a consciousness that allows you to direct the energy. Holy smoke, this is a huge, huge deal, right? Like you can just be on the ocean. Let's imagine the ocean is infinite energy energy and you're just floating along, but human beings get to be in a boat with freaking paddles. You don't have to be whims of the waves. You can put your paddles in and is it hard to change the current and the direction? Of course it is, right? Objects in motion, you know the drill, but you have the power to put the oars in the water and direct it. Now let's come back into that energy, right? The infinite energy is there all of the time already. It's just about your ability to access it, which means it's about your ability to bring awareness and intention to where you're spending your consciousness or your energy each and every moment, which is harder than it sounds, but definitely worthy of doing. So stoking your infinite energy, your personal energy, your activation energy, your intention energy is exactly what this podcast is about. One of the things, if you can't tell by now, and that we've said is that Shyla and I get told all the time, you guys are so energetic. Now we get it. You might be listening to us saying, I'm not naturally that way. Ladies, I'm not energetic like that. Okay, we get it. We woke up this morning like, 
Hello. We basically popped out of our mama ready to take on the world. And not everybody's built like this, but it doesn't mean that you're not as powerful. Everybody has the ability to stoke the energy that lives within them to create positive, infinite energy loops that get them the life that they want. Right. Like energetic in that sense. Like, like we have a natural enthusiasm level. You have a natural level of enthusiasm. So we're not saying this is a personality issue, right? Nope. It's not, it's deeper than that kind of energy. Are we high energy? Absolutely. In that sense, right? We talk really fast. We move a lot. We do a lot of things like we're just naturally very energetic. And, and whether or not you are in that form of expression, you still have access and ability to that infinite energy inside of you, that personal power. And ha haven't you ever met someone who is very energetic, but not in the way that Kay and I are, but in that like deep, resonance, you feel like you are in a spiritual place just by being with this person. I hope you've gotten to have that experience with someone who is just so deep and so present that you feel their soul and their spirit, even though they're not cheerleading and jumping around and talking <laughs> a thousand miles a minute, right? So think about all of these different beautiful variety of expressions of energy in humanity and whatever your natural bend is, let's feed more energy to that and let's figure out where some of those areas are that you want to add more energy to so that you can make more progress and ultimately be more fulfilled. We're so grateful that you're coming alongside us as our family in growth on this journey as we explore the concept of infinite energy through the realms of our faith, our family, our fitness, our freedom, and our profession, our careers, our callings, and so much more. We are so excited for what this means for all of us, and we're just grateful that you chose to journey alongside your two sisters. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to episode one of Infinite Energy with Kane Shy, We look forward to stepping alongside you as we all grow our energy together. Now this one comes at you with love from your sisters, Kay, Kay and Shy. This podcast was a production of Angel Phoenix Productions. Explore more episodes of this show or other great shows on the Angel Phoenix Podcast Network by visiting angelphoenix.com. The views expressed in this show do not necessarily represent those of Angel Phoenix Productions or its advertisers and may contain language that's unsuitable for younger listeners.